What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Lethal Left, back again with another Madden 20 video. And today I'm going to be going over my first free ebook of the Madden 20 season, which is going to take place in the West Coast playbook. It's going to be mainly centered around Gun Bunch, which a lot of you guys see the pro players using. It's a very popular formation because it's very easy to run and it's very effective against all coverages. It's very difficult to stop considering how bad and busted the zones are. The zones are complete garbage right now, especially in, over, in Ultimate Team, because not many players are hitting that 90 zone threshold. That's why everyone that's really good right now is running this playbook. So I'm gonna go over the main part of this playbook. These are gonna be your audibles, stick, deep corner, verticals and mess post you can come out and draw you can come out in wide receiver post you can come out in whatever you want just have those four as your audibles so i'm gonna come out i'm just gonna come out and uh draw and then the, i'm gonna have the computer come out in let's say nickel we have a cover three hard flat in here cover three hard flat all right so the reason this play is so effective is all these routes can be any coverage pretty much especially an ultimate team where if you have the route specialist you're gonna want to put it on this middle receiver right here which is where hill is but if you have the route specialist you can put a post on this guy and it's completely unstoppable because you'll see if you put a post on hill right here you're gonna have one unguardable post going over the left side of the field another post going over the right side and it's just ridiculous how effective these uh, route combos are so let's start off with mesh post this is a cover three hard flat so your main read is gonna be B on this play because they have to your opponent has to use it a B route I'm telling you it is gonna be open every time every time you can throw it right over the zones and right underneath the safety with the way they nerfed users this year, you have to be on that like a hawk. You can't just get a kangaroo pick from 10 yards away and it's just gonna go right over your head. So he gets bumps, Jesus Christ. Joey Bosa, come on, bro. Let's run it again. Hopefully they give me time. That's the one thing about five wide. I mean, not, not blocking anyone, not five wide. When you don't block anyone, pressure comes in a lot faster. But this play, is also good at uh, beating the hard flat concept because the hit the drag from hill is gonna suck down that hard flat and if I have time I'm gonna be able to hit Williams on this little wheel route for easy yards because that hard flat is gonna stay with hill so if you know your opponents running the hard flat and you think you're gonna have time in the pocket hit that little wheel route if not you can always block Williams because you always want to have that security blanket in case your opponent gets a shed. I'm gonna show this. I'm gonna show this to you guys one more time. Hit the post, unstoppable. Now there's also another play. Deep corner. This is a very good play against cover two. You can keep. I would. I would actually put him on a um, in route Watkins because I don't like how long it takes to develop that route. I think that takes way too much time unless your opponent's playing like crazy sag D. I would put him on an in route. You can choose what to do with uh, Williams. You can block him. I prefer blocking him because I like to have extra time in the pocket. And let's show you this play. So your main read is going to be Kelsey and the RB route. So Hill is going to get open every time against a, cover th a hard flat cover three. It doesn't really matter. Cover two, cover three, cover four. If it's a hard flat, this route is unguardable. The main thing about Gun Bunch is you have to take what the defense gives you. If they're going to leave Kelsey open every time in a cloud flat, you got to hit that route. You have to make your opponent play hard flats. And that's what makes this concept so effective. Is that when your opponent plays hard flats, you have unstoppable routes all over the field. So let's start it again. I'm going to do it one last time. This is in cover three hard flat. Put him on the in route. Kelsey and that little flat route. And we're gonna hit Hill again. Position it at like, I'd say about five o'clock on your controller and you'll hit that every time. So last play, actually another play we have is stick. It's pretty similar. 
It's just when your opponent starts to, um, you know, man up different people and starts catching on. If you're playing someone good, you can always switch it up. So you know how this play, the deep corner, the corner route was the RB. Well, with stick, you're gonna get the corner route, on, corner route on B. So if your opponent starts manning up RB, you'll have the same play, but with different receivers. So we'll do this again. Corner routes wide open with a different receiver. So your opponent, you're you're, mas you're basically making your opponent have to guess every time on defense. Like I said, I always will run a slant or like an in route. Another thing people do is you put them on a curl, smart route to curl. You motion this guy inside. That way that cloud or hard flat will not play it. Do this and you can low pass this curl all day long. The zones don't play it. You have to user it. That's why when you see someone's user go flying to the right side, I would just keep hitting that curl over and over for 10 yards a pop. I know I don't like throwing at people's users in gun bunch. This is another play, verticals. This is really good against cover two, but it also works on cover three. Like I said, you can run this however you want. There are multiple ways to run this. Personally, I, a lot of times, a lot of times I'll block my running back and then I'll mix it up sometimes. I'll streak them out the backfield if they're sending heavy pressure. That way they have to use it a running back. So with this, the computer is only setting four. So we're just gonna run this play stock. And I got no time in the pocket. Chiefs have a terrible O-line. So hopefully, oh, you can get X factors in practice? Wow, that's crazy. I'm motion this guy over. Hopefully he'll block him. Let's show you guys this play one more time. A is wide open. Jesus, they will not block this dude. Your opponent really has to use her either A or RB. And this B route gets open every time on man to man and will beat the hard flat over the top. You can precision that. I gotta throw it more towards the sideline, but it will beat the hard flat. So another way you can run this is you can just streak A, that way the safety will move farther back and you'll have a quicker read. So I'll just streak A. Safety's gonna move back farther and you'll have more room to throw that wheel route if your opponent's in hard flats. That's only if your opponent's in hard flats though. So another thing, if you have time, is this RB route gets open on just about every coverage in the game. So if you have time, step in the pocket, precision it down, and the RB route is open. You gotta have a receiver that can get off the, uh, get, get a good release though. Like Watkins doesn't have the best release, so I would actually get a receiver that has a good release so that it sucks back that deep third corner in the cover three, and that way you're able to hit Hill without it being so contested. Jesus Christ. See, RB was wide open again right there. It's just I have to run for my life. And you can also hit RB sooner, you know, over the top. See where the zones are. Depends on where the zones are. The zones were covering it. Precision it down. I messed up on the play. I didn't precision it down. It's because I'm trying to scramble for my life away from these pass rushers. The ultimate team, they, they really nerfed the shed. So if you send four, you're probably not going to get a shed like this. Uh, yeah, Jesus. All right. So that's against cover three. I'm going to show you guys against all kinds of defenses. So it's the same thing, except this time we're gonna do a cover two. We have a cover two hard flat on here. Cover two hard flat. Now let's start off with verticals. This play kills cover two. You'll see, Robinson's not even a good receiver. Look at how bad this will kill cover two. There's no way the safety can get over there because the safety has to respect that inside, that inside curl. 
I'm mean, not inside curl, that inside wheel. So in the cover two, they have to use her Kelsey. And they have to use her pretty RB pretty much. So we'll run this. Deep third runs with A, peels off. Wheel route is wide open. You can run that all day on people running cover two. Even if they run cloud flats, you can still run it. Very effective play. Deep corner. This beats uh, cover two again. So you'll see. Robinson. Precision it up. That safety actually kind of played it. I think you might need to run a route to take away the left side safety. So I'll just run a fade with Watkins. We'll see if it works like this. Yeah, that's better. All right, so run a streaker fade to make that uh, left side safety be honest to his to his zone, and you'll have an easy 30 yards every time, possibly more if you have a good receiver right there. So put him on a fade. Same thing. Your opponent has to use this. It's that easy. Beats cover two. Next. We're gonna have stick. It's gonna be the same concept. Every zone is the same concept because if either your opponent's gonna be running hard flats, cloud flats, or a purple, pretty much 90% of the time that's what's gonna be. So that flat route and corner route concept, it'll be every hard flat, cloud flat combo in the game. Easy, 20 yards. Now make your make sure your opponent has to use or something. If you see your opponent run over there, all you gotta do is make sure that you have a route coming over the middle of the field where their user is. And I would hit X right there if I had some time in the pocket, but I don't. Make sure you keep their user honest. So, mesh post, the same thing. It's a little bit harder, especially if you're running a mesh post against a cover two because that yellow will, will sometimes get glitchy and play it. Obviously, you can hit the double drags. That was contested as hell. Don't I guess the cover two plays the double drags the best. These zones really don't play like this in Ultimate Team. I'm gonna hit the post over the middle, just like that. You can throw it right over the, the middle uh, yellow. They won't play it. And lastly, I ran every play. Never mind. All right. So that's against a cover two. There's also a cover four beater in here. So if your opponent's running, you know, cover four match, I would run this uh, wide receiver post play. Let me come on a cover four match. A lot of people try to run cover four, cover four quarters, or cover four, um, cover four palms. What you got to do against this play is Watkins is going to get open. You just need some time in the pocket. It's also a little hard flat, cloud flat beater. So you can hit Hill or Robinson coming over. One of them is going to be open. And Jesus Christ. So what's going to happen is your, your receiver is going to match up with the safety. So you need to have a good receiver. Watkins isn't that good a receiver to, to beat man, but I'll show you guys. Come on, man. Oh, sorry about this. I mean, freaking. Oh, Joey Bosa is a goon on here. So, you guys can't see it, but this, this play will beat cover four. It's just Watkins cannot get open for whatever reason against Casey Hayward and these guys. If you have the 90 overall receivers in Mutt, this works every time. I'm telling you. It'll be cover four because the other zones will not play that route. And it'll be stuck with this guy having to run with, you know, the post. So that's a cover four beater. Let's see if there's anything else. Obviously, draw is pretty self-explanatory. If your opponent's just running coverage and, and, and rushing like two people, three people, mixing the draw, 
keep them honest don't overuse it because you know the fumbles are crazy it's the same thing when you throw the flat route don't keep taking hit sticks from your opponent because you will fumble so either go out of bounds sometimes take that five or six yards or just fall down is there anything else to go over oh that's pretty much pretty much it All right, so that's pretty much it out of gun bunch. There's other things you can do in this in this formation, and I mean in, in gun in the gun set in West Coast. See, there's gun split offset. I like this power O play. It's kind of like the one in split close. Does really well against uh, if you're trying to run the ball because obviously the West Coast playbook doesn't have that many run plays. So that play is pretty effective. I don't really like anything out of gun split offset in here. What I will say is there is one play I really like. I'm trying to remember which formation was it? Tight slots. That bench concept is really good. It's a really good if your opponent's mixing it up with cloud flats and uh, hard flats. It's gonna beat. It's gonna beat both coverages. So that's a really good concept. And here's, here's the cover two beater I like running. Spread, gun spread, double flex. If you see your opponent is coming out in cover two every play, run this PA comebacks play and you will absolutely kill cover two. So let's run nickel. Let's just run a cover two, nickel blitz. Cancel the play action. And this, this demolishes cover two. I, if I can get some time in the pocket. Because if your opponent doesn't deep half their safeties, they're going to end up playing that comeback route with the safeties. And what happens is, I, I'm, I'm not going to have any time to throw. What happens is that wide route is going to get butt naked and split the middle, split between the two safeties. So if I can have time to throw, I obviously can't have time to throw because I got I to gotta rush four. I gotta rush four or get an extra blocker. So a pro tip for you guys, if you do motion a receiver in, they will end up blocking. So that's an extra blocker right there. And I hit this dot up the middle of the field for 50 yards. So if you ever you see you got your opponent blitzing a lot of people and you need a little bit extra time in the pocket, just motion a receiver in Hike the ball when they're right about here, and they'll block for you. So you see Kelsey actually blocks for me, and I have a dot up the middle of the field, and Watkins drops it. It's really that simple. So that's a cover two beater. Opponent has to use that uh, inside post. Another good play. Troy offsets all right because it has this uh, Y corner play, which is really good against cover two. That's pretty much it. Uh, four verticals obviously is is it's always been a really good play, especially this year with the zones acting like they do. Your opponent really has to use that inside streak, and you're able to hit things over the middle like that running back route. But empty tray, I'm telling you, empty tray this year. Any gun empty set is gonna kill people online with the terrible zones, unless they're blitzing six or unless they're running man to man. So with this, you can easily just call four verticals and then just run a couple uh, drags or you can just call whatever in this playbook and someone's gonna get open. So let's run this for the sake of running it. I just like to run four verticals with two drags on the field. It's running against the cover two. Four verts. And he's gonna have to match. So that was that was a bad read. So four verts, we're running like it is. You just gotta position it to the inside, and that's an easy dot every time on cover two. Because they're not gonna run with it. So you can run four verts. 
I'd keep these guys on the inside uh, streaks. I would just drag these two guys. And you can do whatever you want with Kelsey. You can block them. You can out route them. You can in route them. And Jesus Christ. That's a problem when you have no all line. I'll show it again. Put these two outside guys on drags. Kelsey, I put on a curl route. And he's wide open. I just can't throw it because, you know, this, this O-line is crap. So that's pretty much it for the gun sets in this play. Obviously, you're going to want to mainly focus your scheme around gun bunch because it is the best passing formation in the game right now. There's also some running plays that are really glitchy, that are really effective. First thing I'm going to want to show you is this I-form slot. What you're going to want to have is the dive, alert, bubble, the stretch, alert, bubble. These are two really effective plays, which they really need to, really, really need to nerf or patch because it's kind of ridiculous how effective it is. So I'm going to come out in a 4-3. I'm want to. i going to come out in cover 3. Cover 2. I'll come out in a 4-3, cover 2. And look at how effective this is. You could run the stretch. Which is just really good in short yardage situations because I like to motion this guy out. And obviously stretch has always been a good run in the game. So you just stretch it and that's 20 yards. You cut it back up inside. If they spread the line, run the dive, right up the middle. Which you can do, halfback dive. Run it right up the middle. That's the problem right there is that you will fumble if you run the ball a lot. But what's good about this formation is he, if you ever need one or two yards on short short yardage, this gets open on everything. So you motion this guy out, your opponent thinks it's a run. This gets open on everything, man. I'm telling you, it's guaranteed pretty much one to two yards. And this is against a cover two hard flat where the guys are supposed to be covering the flat. If you have a guy that can block for just two seconds, obviously Watkins doesn't have good run block. This gets open on everything. That was a little bit closer, but still. I think he just missed his block on that one. That was fluke. This play, I'm telling you, I've seen people running this. It is unstoppable in short yardage situations, unless you just get glitched out the mind. The one thing I will say is if you see your opponent not get blocked so let's let's look at this if i see that hill doesn't get that hill doesn't get the block from watkins i'm not gonna throw it so right there actually i i should have thrown it and i still got 10 yards from not even not even like running at first that's one good running formation there are a couple other good running formations i'm not gonna show them all like as in terms of me running the plays but obviously single back ace they have that good z spot play where you can um shriek the guy and you'll have an easy corner route dot this has the dive it has quick slants it has the stretch let's just show this real quick z spot nickel cover three i'm running against cover three match i haven't even showed this play against man so Z spot, I would streak this guy. If you have time to pass, hit that running back route. If it's not a cover, it's, if it's not a hard flat, hit that running back route. If it is, hit the corner route to Kelsey. Obviously, there's the dive and the stretch. One last thing I forgot to show you guys is how effective this play is from gun bunch verticals is against man coverage against man coverage against a heavy blitz this play is ridiculous so let's start let's show this off it's a heavy blitz just block six and this wheel route is gonna get open on everything on everything you see how how wide open that wheel rod is now if you put a good receiver over there like hill or someone with speed you're gone 
you're gone, man. I'm telling you. So that has to be used against man coverage. Doesn't matter. It will that that man to man will not guard that route. It doesn't matter what corner they have. They could have Deion Sanders. He's not guarding that route. It's too easy. So that's an easy man beater. In case you guys wanna in case your opponent's running man, you guys wanna kill man to man. That route right there kills it. That's pretty much it for Gun Bunch. It's also Single Back Bunch, which if you guys play online, you probably ran into somebody running this quick pitch play. It also has Z Spot, so you just streak the outside receiver and you have a nice high-low concept. It also has four verts, same, same concept as it is in the Gun Bunch, except that wheel route isn't really a real route by the uh, outside receiver. PA in the round was good in Madden 15. This is really, you know, just a bazooka scheme. If you just want to run, you know, end of rounds and try to, you know, trick your opponent. Doubles north, doesn't really have much. Obviously the stretch and dive are gonna be in a lot of these single back sets. Those are always effective running plays. They nerfed the stretch this year. I mean, not the, not the stretch, the pitch. So they make it delayed. Yeah, they also have single back doubles open. None of this stuff I would really recommend running unless you're in the goal, goal line or red zone scenario. The last formation I'm gonna show out of this playbook is gonna be at the near close and near pro um, formations. And this is basically, you know, you want to have a fullback dive for those short yard situations because they, they completely killed the QB sneak this year. So that, that's pretty much done. So you want to have, you know, a good running back, a good fullback. It's pretty simple to run. Near pro. I would, I would have slants as an audible just in case they run, you know, all, all out man blitz. I'm going to run 4-3. Cover 3. So they got Sherman on here. If you have a good old line, what you want to do is you're going to want to motion a receiver. If you're trying to run the ball, motion them right inside here. Oh, what the hell? Not this way. She motion this receiver. And there you go. Wow, he just fumbled. <laughs> like I said, the fumbles in this game are crazy. Can't really do anything about that. This is just to show you guys a play to pick up one to two yards on a goal line or on whatever form, whenever situation you need a quick two yards. Same thing for the uh, halfback inside. If you have a good halfback, just motion this guy in, and you'll have a bunch of blockers for you. Easy hole. Just like that. So that's pretty much it for the West Coast ebook. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you're new, please hit that notification bell to always be notified for when I upload a new video. Make sure to spam that like button. And you guys comment any other ebooks you want me to give out for free, man. I don't like I don't like when my subscribers have to pay for shit. I don't really recommend buying an ebook this year when so many, you know, big Twitch streamers and, and pro players really showcase their schemes on stream live. So, thank you guys for watching. It's been your boy Leto, signing out.